Hello there, I just wanted to show off my new MSI Z170A Gaming M7 motherboard. Uh, I've been pretty happy with it. I'll just uh, get a close-up of my uh, rig here. So I've got uh, all liquid cooling, that's a 3600mm uh, radiator. I've got a Fury X in there and I've got a couple of uh, uh, sticks of uh, 3200 megahertz uh, low latency RAM. Uh, everything's working pretty well, uh, except for one minor issue which I wanted to talk about in this video. Um, so uh, let's fire it up and I'll show you what the issue is. Hopefully that's visible. There we go. Right, so I've got uh, a number of operating systems installed. Um, in addition to Windows 10, I've got uh, I've got Debian and I've got two Ubuntu installs. Um, Windows 10 is installed on an M.2 drive, and so is Debian, whereas um, my two Ubuntu installs are on separate uh, two and a half inch um, serial ATA uh, SSDs. Some old SSDs I had lying around. So uh, now if I go to um, now, this is um, at using the latest BIOS at the time of writing, which is um, uh, the 1E BIOS. Um, now, when I go to boot uh, and I have a look at the hard drive priorities, you'll see I've only got two options here, uh, Debian and Windows. There's no option to inst to, to uh, look at the other uh, Ubuntu um, bootloaders. But um, actually, that's not even the problem. The problem that I'm having is that I've got this uh, bootloader I use called Refined, which I'll link to in the comments below. Um, and I really love this bootloader, and I'll show you why in a second. And I just cannot make that appear in this list. And I'll show you um, some of the things that I've tried to make that work. All right, so by default, um, Debian is, um, is just Grub, is the Grub EFI bootloader which you'll see in a moment. I'll just move the camera a little bit to make that more readable. All right, here we go. So, Refined, oh, look, I've got some kernels here for Debian, um, and then I've got Refined here. This is also installed in the same EFI partition as this here, as this scrub. Um, EFI bootloader. Now this is refined. Basically I want the computer to automatically boot straight into this. Um, now if I click on any of those it'll go to the grub for the appropriate thing. So the reason why I've got um, a trip, uh, well a quad boot set up is because I'm testing all the different drivers for my Fury X. So I've got the free software um, Mesa, st Mesa stack, uh, Mesa plus AMD GPU um, for my Fury X, and then here I've got the old Catalyst driver, here I've got the uh, AMD GPU Pro um, proprietary stack, well, hybrid stack because it's the AMD GPU part is free software and the user space is proprietary, but that's where you get your Falcon driver support for at the time, uh, 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 right now. Um, and then we've got the, um, the Windows stack, which of course is proprietary. Anyway, let's fire up Debian. Just go with any kernel. I do use full disk encryption for everything. Alright, now let's have a look at what um, EFI is. I'm going to make the font a little bit bigger here, so this is more readable. Uh, oops, maybe that's a little too big since it's a... Uh, I'm going to try it again. Alright. So you'll see here we're having problems reading boot 001. So what is boot 001? Well, it doesn't actually exist. Uh, 
If we have a look at the boot order, we've got three, which is Debian, which is the default. Then we've got Windows as the um, fallback, and then it'll fall back um, to CD DVD drive, although that doesn't have the star there, so I think that's not actually active. Um, okay, so let's remove that. Uh, I'll just check what the um, option is to change the boot order. Uh, boot order dash O. So we want if I boot manager dash O. Um, let's just try and remove the broken one, and it should work like that, I think. Dash O. Yep. And. It looks like it worked, but we still got this error. This just does not go away. All right, so what we want to do is add in our own refind. So just to show you that I'll, that setup, if I go to slash boot uh, EFI, my EFI partition for Debian, and then we've got refind, and that's what it looks like. Um, that's where it's located. So. If I boot, maybe I've got the command in my history because I've tried this a bunch of times. And then here we go. So here, um, what I'm trying to do, well, what I should be able to do really is add um, add that as 0001 because we've removed it. Um, and it's booting off NVMe one. Yes, that's the correct partition. Give it a name. That's the correct path. This is all good. And you see, we get all these crazy errors. All right, so let's go to number four because number four doesn't isn't throwing errors about boot two zero zero one. And there we go. That actually looks like it worked, right? Zero 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 four is first, and we've got refined added. It appears to have done what we wanted. Now, just for just for reference, uh, version. This is just the, the current version of EFI Boot Manager in um, Debian Stretch. All right. So let's go and boot into Refined. As you can see, 4.6 gigahertz, and what the... All right, so somehow we are now booting into Windows, even though that would have been like third on the priority list. It should have went to Debian, but if it fell over, if for some reason refine didn't work. But it didn't even do that. All right, so let's go back and have another look at this. What does the BIOS think? Or the UEFI? Settings, boot, hard drive priority, and look, Windows is first on the priority list, Debian second, and there's no refined. It said it was there, and somehow it's not. So we'll put it back the way it was originally, Debian and then Windows. Unfortunately, one of the limitations of this MSI motherboard, unlike uh, Asus, and other manufacturers, there is no way to set this up from within inside the UEFI. You have to use third-party utilities to configure this. And that is, that's really annoying. I mean, it would be fine. I'm happy to use uh, EFI Boot Manager if it works, but when your UEFI has bugs, that's preventing that from working, that's, that's a bit of a problem. All right. But there is another another way. So that's where Easy UEFI comes in. So let's have a look at that. 
Okay, so this is a, a freeware utility. It's not free software, but you know, it's a uh, it's a uh, still proprietary. Anyway, uh, so we can't we don't know how it works, but we it's supposed to be pretty reliable from what I hear. Now, when we have a look at this list, that is exactly it. it looks like it's detected it, things correctly. Um, now I'm going to go and add an entry for refine because refine looks like it never actually saved. Hopefully here we'll be able to save it. So this is my NVMe uh, 0 and 1 uh, P1 uh, and that's NVMe 0 uh, oh, NVMe 1 and 1 P1. Um, so that's the Debian one. So that's the one where it's got the refined on it. So let's select other OS. Just description, reify, and the refined. And let's browse, and we should see it. There it is. I only have one copy of that. So it's not like I've got the wrong option selected. Okay. And it adds it to the end of the list. I want it at the top. All right. So that's it. That should be saved. And just to just to confirm, if I reopen the program again, yep, it all looks good, right? All right. So let's reboot, and now we should go into Refined. And now we're in Grub. Okay, so that is different behavior from what EFI Boot Manager showed us, where it would go into the Windows bootloader. Now it's going into the, well, it's looking at the correct partition, I guess. So it's something, but it's still not working the way we want it to.